praise the Lord, everyone. Let us all draw our hands in. Let us all stand and go before the Lord in prayer. Okay, While right. we're praying, please let us give praise for Sister Susan Knapp. She is recovering from surgery at home. We will continue to pray that the Lord will continue the healing process in her body. Amen. Are there any other? Uh, also, please pray for Sister Veronica Woolman. Amen. The Lord will touch and heal her body. Are there any other uh, uh, unspoken prayer requests you can make them known by the raising of your hand to God and acknowledge? Let us all bow our hands in prayer. Lord, Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity, Lord, to come and feel for your grace, Lord, to receive mercy and help in time of trouble. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for blessing us to wake up this morning cold in our right mind to a reasonable portion of our health and our strength. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the anointing that we feel right now in this sanctuary. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for blessing us, Lord, just to push our way out to the house of God this, this evening, Lord. Lord, to hear your word, Lord Jesus. Let your word go from good ground. And Lord, ask us to put all these prayer requests, Lord. Touch and move each and every one of them according to your will, Lord. Lord, we ask, Lord, that you give us ears to hear, Lord. Send your word, Lord Jesus. And let your word go from good ground and take root in our hearts. Jesus, may we pray. Amen and amen. amen.
it.
Bible, there is power in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I want to thank you for the that prophetic choir. They are leading us in praise and worship. And at this time, we will praise the Lord with our giving. We ask Mr. Allen and the ushers to come to help us receive this evening's tithes and offerings. I would like to remind the church that coming up this Saturday will be our last Christmas play practice. And that will be the last practice before we actually do our Sunday, uh, our Christmas uh, service on Sunday. Amen? Amen. Dennis Allen, would you please bless the offer? Thank you, Lord, for your praise. Thank you for the Christmas we have. Yes,
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, if he's been good to you, let's support him to him. If he's been great, hallelujah. 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 Amen. We, we give honor and we give praise. Amen. We give thanks to a lot of things and to a lot of people. Amen. And the Lord we know have done the most for us. Amen. And sometimes we struggle to lift our voices to Him. That's not a bad thing. It's a natural good thing. Amen. The scripture says to clap your hands, all ye people. And it says to shout unto the Lord with a, amen, a voice of triumph. That's all right. That's a good thing in the house of the Lord. I'm thankful that I got a voice to praise God. Amen. amen. Anybody thankful? Amen. amen. That you got a voice to give God praise. Would you do it one more time? Would you let that voice out and bless the Lord? Hallelujah. 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 Amen. It is always good to be in the house of God and feel the presence of the Lord. Amen. And to hear the word of God. I am expecting God to touch my heart. Anybody expecting the Lord Amen. to touch your heart tonight? Amen. Amen. We trust God that brought us here for a reason. Amen. And that he's going to help us. And uh, I think it's Psalms 107 and verse 20. The scripture said he sent his word to heal. Amen. I believe God's going to help us and heal us here tonight. In the name of Jesus, praise God. So, amen, it's good to have Lakia, Lakia Town Hall, Townsend, I'm sorry. Amen, in the house of the Lord here with us tonight. Amen, praise God. Amen, I believe she helps assist uh, Jay. Amen, and we're thankful that she come on behalf of our bishop and new birth tabernacle. We say welcome. Amen, amen to the house of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Folks, here God's been good to me. Anybody here, God's been good to you? Amen. Amen. So we're going to open it up for a couple of testimonies. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. I thank you, praise the Lord, for being here. I thank you, praise the Lord. You know, we've had this transition on my job where new contractors come in, and it's it's just been a hot mess. You know, the days everything's just disarray. You know, and you know how the rumor mill. Praise the Lord. Cause there's nothing 
nothing too hard for God. Pray my strength to the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Come on, give good praise to Him tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's nothing, nothing too hard. Come on, somebody. Give him a good shout. Thank God for being faithful. Thank God for being good. Thank God for being right. Hallelujah.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God knows exactly what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the time of the songs and the testimonies. He knows exactly what he's doing. I want to invite your attention to the book of Psalms. 7 verse 7 in the book of Lamentations chapter 3 verse 22 through 22 through 23 Psalms 107 chapter 107 verse 1 King James God's mercy. None of us would be here tonight if it wasn't for God's mercy. Amen. Can I put it like this? For God's pity. None of us would be here tonight. But in Psalms 107 verse 1, a song of thanksgiving to the Lord. In this verse, we praise the Lord specifically for his mercy, which lasts forever. Forever. Yes. It amazes me, amen, before the judgment of God comes, there is mercy available. And after the judgment of God comes, there's still mercy. We can thank the Lord for mercy. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord for mercy. Think about, amen, the ways that the Lord has shown you mercy in your life. Can you take time out right now and think on that right now? Will you think on it right now? Amen. We ought to break out with thanksgiving when we think about God's mercy. How he saved us. Come on. They need to be a move of the spirit right now. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. 
They need to be alone with the Spirit tonight. They're thinking on it. They're thinking on God's mercy. They ought to be alone with the Spirit right now. God's mercy. Can I say they make this statement tonight? Do not play around with God's mercy. Amen. Mm, that's the truth. There is no mercy greater than our salvation. Right. People has a tendency to play with their salvation. Your salvation represents God's mercy. We are hopeless and helpless in our sins without Jesus. We need Jesus. Yes, sir. But he showed us mercy. And, amen, was perfect. He was the perfect sacrifice yes. that atoned for our sins once and for all. When we look at the Lord there on the cross, being crucified for us. It's God's mercy. It has a way to demonstrate to us that God is having mercy on us. Look what happened at the crucifixion. They do not know what they are doing. God's mercy was even available to those who crucified him. Uh, this verse is a command giving thanks unto the Lord. Our lives should reflect our thankful hearts unto the Lord. Part of living a holy life, being separated from the world by our conversation out of our mouth and how we dress. It's a reflection of being thankful it's a reflection of being thankful unto the Lord. We look at our world today, the Christian world in itself. They got the beat, they hit. But there is no real reflection from the heart of thanksgiving. Amen, amen. They're dressing naked. Hello? They have a tendency to put down those that are reflecting love towards God's mercy. By the conversation. Right. And not, that's not what's come out of your mouth, but what you walk in. Right. It's a reflection of God's mercy. When you take the word of God and you hide it in your heart, that you will not sin against him. God's mercy. Notice what I said. It 
this song, giving thanks unto the Lord, is a command. Amen. Can somebody thank the Lord for holiness? Thank you, Lord. Oh, Can somebody thank the Lord for holiness? Hallelujah. Can somebody thank the Lord for loving and righteousness? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We're supposed to give thanks. There are many ways to do that. One is simply praising him and singing. In other words, singing this song back to the Lord. There's a beautiful story in the Bible. The story of Esther. Because of her beauty, God used her Amen. to represent his mercy. She was called to the kingdom mm -hmm. for such a time as this. God's mercy showed up and used Esther to save her people. Amen. Folks, that was God's mercy. Amen. They had the gallows already prepared. It took a little while for Esther to realize her being you. God gave her courage. Mm -hmm. She was representing God's mercy. And when God called you in the kingdom of God for such a time as this, you ought to stand to your feet and give thanksgiving unto God because God wants to use you to demonstrate his mercy to the world. Recognizing what he has done for us. Spending time with the Lord in prayer. In studying of the word. It's another. That's right. Serving other people. Allowing yourself to be inconvenient for an opportunity to share his love. It's another way. You see, there will not, amen, be another time for the Lord to walk this earth in the body of Jesus Christ. God wants to use us. That's right. Hello? You see, by our relationship with God, God wants to use us to reveal His mercy to a dying world. None of us here tonight has really earned salvation. We're here tonight because he had pity on us. Mm. Praise God. He created us to give thanksgiving unto him. But it amazes me when you look at the history of man And how man has fell away from their creator. God created us to worship him. 
in spirit and in truth. You can take a moment to thank the Lord for his mercy. was by the hand of God. Amen. His mercy. Amen. You could have had a wreck before you got to church. Amen. But it was his mercy that allowed you to be here tonight. His mercy. My I look back over the years in my life, that's the thought of some of the crazy, stupid stuff I've done. Mm -hmm. I didn't even really deserve God's mercy. But I thank the Lord while He saw me in my mess that I was in. Then he had pity on me. Yes. And he touched me Amen. with his mercy Amen. that represent his love and his kindness to me. Yes. We thank the Lord for that. Glory. Thankfulness. Why is it so hard for us Sometimes to demonstrate thankfulness to the Lord. Uh, we should always be on the lookout for ways to express gratitude for the Lord's mercy. Amen. By what? By serving others. Praise the Lord. You know, we have a tendency sometimes to be so stingy with our love. Hello? Stingy with our kindness. Mercy is all about. It's about love and kindness. You see, the way you got in the church is by mercy. One of the greatest doctrines in the Bible Amen. is mercy. That's right. Uh, the Lord, He took time and His mercy is renewed. Hello? His compassion, His mercy. Every day. Every day. We need His mercy Amen. and His compassion. Amen. Every day. You know why? Because we are humble flesh. I want to ask you this question. Do you love this song describing God's mercy enduring forever? It means his mercy will never end. Amen. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how many times I, over the years that I messed up If you were honest with yourself, you'd have messed up too. Amen. Well, right. And the only reason why you're still here is because of his mercy. We you clap your hands of the Lord.
as long as we continue to repent of our sins. There will never be a day when the Lord say, we have sinned once too many times to have a relationship with him. Thank you, Jesus. Jonah, I believe he was a fiery preacher. I believe that he walked up right. But when it came that the Lord wanted to show his mercy to some ungodly people, he got upset. Did he, Brother Rowe? Yes, he did. He did not want to go to Nineveh. Mm -hmm. God wanted to use him to touch those people with his mercy. Uh -huh. You know what your assignment is here? Being saved? Has touched someone's life with mercy. Well, I know. It touched someone's life with mercy. But the Lord had something for him. It amazes me how the Lord looked at him in the belly of the fish and it was pity. If we're honest with ourselves, we really deserve the judgment of God. That's right. But 
because of his mercy we are here today. Will you clap your hands and Lord thank you. I love this. He will never reject a contrite heart. Amen. Because his mercy endures forever. God despised not a broken and a contrite spirit. Let me tell you something. You really repent. You know what the Lord does? He touches you one more time with his mercy. You deserve to be punished. But you come to him with a repentant heart. And the Lord reach down from heaven and touch you Amen. with your mercy and restore you. Yes. This also means the area of our lives where we receive mercy. Where the Lord has always forgiven us. And we'll always, we'll always be covered in mercy. Thank you, Jesus. I'm talking about that covering of the blood of Jesus yeah. Christ. When you clap your hands, Lord. Sad to say, in the apostolic rights, little by little, there's no real reflection that we are thankful for God's mercy. After receiving Bible salvation, we are free from sin because God has simply shown us mercy. If you want to receive mercy, you better learn how to touch somebody else with mercy. If you want to be forgiven, you better learn how to forgive somebody.
Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And I tell you, tonight is not all in the numbers. Right. As we grow in our understanding of this, we will, as the song urges us, give thanks to the Lord. And you wake up in the morning. It's because As I look back over my life, he should have broke me off a long time ago. I'm going to tell you, young person, tonight, and he's striving to be successful. Don't get ahead of God's mercy. Right. Yeah. Amen. Because you need God's mercy to be Amen. successful. Amen. Stay prayed up. Yeah. Live a clean life. Hello. Praise God. There's a world out there that will offer you just about everything. But that world cannot offer you mercy. It's all right to get an education. You need that. But don't turn your back on God's mercy. Lazarus in grave clothes because of his relationship with his God. The Lord showed up because of his relationship with his God. Amen. And called him out of the grave. And if the Lord didn't use his name, there would have been many of them. But the Lord went there specifically for Lazarus. And your relationship with God, hold on. Oh, God's mercy. Let every hand down, every hand close on. I'm done here tonight. I hope this can help you here tonight. Ika Toshila Toshila Shalabaka. You need to make some things right tonight. Won't you just come on down here? Don't feel embarrassed. Just come on down here. Yeah, it's enough mercy here. Come on. There's enough mercy here. Come on, the Lord wanna to touch you. Come on, get serious about this thing. There's mercy here. There's mercy here available to you. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for your mercy. For your mercy. Come on, somebody thank the Lord for his mercy. Come on, we are commanded to do so. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Your love and kindness, oh God, I thank you, Lord. 
Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Come on, let's love on him one more time. Yeah, I talk shit about what it is about that. Challenge you tonight every so often. When you wake up, thank the Lord for the mercy. Amen. Thank the Lord for the mercy. Praise God. Give this message to Jesus. 